So for the effect of concentration on equilibrium, what we'll have in this graph is we have chlorine go up. Now in some textbooks, it will just be going straight up. It's instantaneous. Uh, and that probably is the correct way it should be drawn in this one because it has shown the concentration has going up slowly. Uh, so rea in reality, this, this line should have started to have an effect straight away. Uh, and same with this point here, it should have had an effect straight away. Uh, so I just be aware that you might see different graphs. Um, this one I think has an error in it, but that's fine for educational purposes. Uh, and so what we have here is you can see that the chlorine has gone up. Uh, and so if the effect of putting the chlorine up puts stress on this side, and so these things will go over here. So you now should expect uh, this to go up. Uh, and it does. This one does go up. And you'd expect these two to then drop. And you can see that they then, once this has been added, uh, then they both drop. So that one's uh, interesting because it goes up and then goes down as well. Whereas these one, this one just goes down and this one just goes up. All right, so that's how you um, can interpret what's going on with this graph. Uh, there'll be many things to do with these sorts of graphs in equilibrium. They, will, um, they might ask you to draw it, uh, might, might ask you to interpret it. Okay. Uh, and so increasing chlorine causes the reaction to push to the opposite side, left hand side, right, hence right hand side decreases, left hand side increases. Okay.